poppin', ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama. Uh, obviously, I had to make this video. Please excuse the fact that if you guys hear my air conditioning while I'm talking, it is extremely hot for some reason. LA just decided to be 102 degrees this week, so uh, this is what you have to deal with now. Um, but anyway, obviously I had to make a video about the PlayStation 5 dropping. Everybody's super excited for it. They're doing their live reactions and reveals and all this other shit. That's great. I'm glad to see other content creators eating and shit like that. That's, that's dope. Um, I particularly had to sit and really think about the stuff I wanted to say and the things I wanted to address, uh, specifically talking about the PlayStation 5. Um, I'm hype for a couple of the games, but, uh... Honestly, it's like I said in my last PlayStation 5 video, it, it was just severe little PP syndrome. And <laughs> it's really so much so that uh, I thought they were only going to show maybe Ghost of Sh Tsushima, Last of Us, um, maybe some Ghostwire Tokyo, and that was going to be it. But uh, they came with a bunch of games. It was 26 different games that came out. Uh, I'm fairly excited to see where the rest of this... Now, the first thing I want to get out of the out of the way before we get too deep into it and start talking about the list and everything like that. Spider-Man Miles Morales is its own game. I'm sorry, you're mad. It is what it is. Like, all of these publications are incorrect. Insomniac themselves even said this is a standalone game. It's not a sequel. It's kind of like, I guess you would consider it a spinoff, but it's its own game. Thank you, Insomniac, so much. We're glad we got Miles as, as his own character. I love it. I'm... Oh, I'm here for it. So with that being said, that's the first game out of the 26. Um, so far, let's talk about the hardware. The hardware looks okay. Um, everybody's making jokes about it being a router with envelopes to this, uh, like taped onto the sides. I mean, that's cool, I guess, but I... I don't know, I'm just not, I wasn't excited for the PS5 because I just don't feel like it's needed right now. But I'm very excited to see where it goes. I'm very excited to see the hardware get pushed. I really want to see what Cyberpunk uh, is going to do, like as far as like pushing this console. Um, more so because I'm getting that on PC and it's already going to run beautifully on my computer. Oh my god, I cannot wait. So I'm fairly excited to see what PlayStation does. Um, Xbox is doing an event next week, so I'm fairly interested to see what they, they do to counteract it. And like, my meme that I, <laughs> that's kind of like going around that like people are talking about, alright, this year are you getting a, a mini fridge or are you getting a Wi-Fi router? And it's kind of like... Uh, I don't know, and it's rumored to be around $700. Um, first of all, bro, <laughs> that's not, yeah, no. For 700 bucks, you actually can make a pretty pretty nice PC. Like, it, it'll be low to mid-tier for 700 bucks, but if you got some hookups, maybe you could hook it up. You know, you can get it for a lot less, but honestly, that amount of money is just not... It's, it's not great and it's a weird time to be releasing a console anyway considering the economic state that the world is in not just the united states but like all over the world like people are kind of just like penny pinching pennies here and there like we don't exactly have too much money to go around so i don't imagine the console is going to be ridiculously overpriced a lot of people were saying 800 dollars um I hope not. I hope it's not even seven. I hope it's 550. I hope it's 500. Like, that's the most I'm willing to go. But uh, this is coming from the person who's going to pick it up next year. I'm not going to buy it the week it comes out. Everybody, from the drop of the PlayStation 3 when that first came out, and that was $600. Oh my god, that was insane. The Xbox 360's Red Ring of Death, uh, the PlayStation 4's uh, Yellow Light of Death, like, that was a very, very small, marginal amount of people. But still, consoles being broken day one like out of the box not something i'm really into uh and i try to avoid that so i'll definitely be picking mine up like a year down the road when there are plenty of games to play all of the stuff that's on ps4 is going to get ported over i think there's going to be like 100 titles that are available on launch uh that are backwards compatible um and as far as i know i think they're ps4 games i no news if they're ps3 or ps2 or classic ps1 uh so we'll see where that goes but um I don't know. Sony still has like a lot of room to grow here. Like there's so many things that they could do with the PlayStation 5 platform that I honestly think they should do that, do more stuff on a business standpoint. And so 
One more thing before we get into the list of games. I genuinely think the PlayStation 5 could be the thing that saves the Sony ecosystem. And I say saves because, you know, obviously there's the whole meme about in The Last of Us 2, uh, they, you know, killing, killing off the Vita, essentially. I really think this could establish their whole play as you go or play on the go ecosystem that they tried to establish in between the PS3, the PS4, and the Vita, which was a really weird time for them to land the Vita more so on being able to function well with the PlayStation 3 and not well with the PlayStation 4. So that was, I don't know what they were thinking there, but whatever. Um, I think this is a really good time to uh, implement hey, these are games, these are certain games that you can play on the go on your Vita, or these are Vita games that you can play on your PlayStation 5. Like, so it's, I don't see how that ecosystem is not a thing. Plus everything that stays first party, like they should have Crash Bandicoot, they should have Spyro, they should have, uh, you know, fucking Medieval, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, uh, of course, God of War, but you should be able to play your PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, like, there should be a market for these things. Now, I've had a conversation with Deacon uh, numerous times about this because he has actual experience when it comes to the gaming industry and design and development, so shout out to him for always giving me the, the proper information. Um, he let me know that going forward technologically, it's going to require more in order to have a back catalog of those games and make those games available. Uh, just because, you know, games are not uh, kept up to date the way they should be or code is lost and it's just like we might as well rebuild an entire game. It's not so simple as like, oh, we offered it on the digital store. We could just port it over digitally. Apparently, that's not the case. I was not aware of that. I really when i think about it if a game is available digital for the vita and i can play gravity rush i should be able to play gravity rush on the first gravity rush on my playstation 5 just because it's digital it seems like it would work the same way you know what i mean but then there are button configurations there's different program programming issues so it, I, that part i get but i just really think with the playstation 5 playstation sony themselves should really have their ecosystem together they should have their movies their uh fucking streaming service you know from crackle and like their music stuff and their movie stuff all of that stuff should be available and accessible on playstation 5 through like a specific hub menu and then you have your classic stuff you can play your playstation 3 playstation 4 games that you've previously purchased digitally maybe not so much the physical games and then offer an entire library of classic ps2 games that they sell for like 5.99 so that way everything stays on your PlayStation 5 and then of course you pick up your phone while you're on the go. If you see that there's a sale or something, you go into the PlayStation app, you download it, I mean you uh, buy it and you download it onto your PS5 and it's there by the time you get home. Um, I think that whole thing that they've tried to create with the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. It was like a good attempt, but they just left the Vita in the dust and they just left a lot of that functionality to die. And it's like they just didn't develop it because they were like, oh, well, we're going to do something else. I'm not sure what the fuck they were working on, but whatever it is, they need to fix it come, come the fifth edition of the PlayStation. Um, because I was super hyped to buy the PS4 on launch, which I definitely shouldn't have done. Um, so I definitely regret that. Uh, the PlayStation 3, I didn't get until like maybe six, seven, eight months after it came out. Um, and then I ended up getting rid of that one to get the Slim, and the Slim was great. And then after that, there was another edition with the slide top tray that I ended up getting one of those, and that was awful. Oh my god. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is there's a whole ecosystem that PlayStation can actually have, and I really, really hope they double down on that. So let's get to the games that they've announced. Obviously, we've already talked a little bit about Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I'm super excited for. I'm over the top excited. You guys know how much I love representation, and it means so much to me that we have a fucking black Spider-Man. Like, this is like, obviously, Into the Spider-Verse had something to do with this, 100%. It had something to do with the influence of Spider-Man in the PS4 game, uh, and really really establishing like hey miles is a significant character so i'm glad it was enough fan support and like they recognize like oh shit fans might actually want a spider-man miles morales game and so now we have that i particularly am buying two copies of this game i don't know if it's going to be available on playstation 4 and playstation 5 it might just be ps5 um i refuse to read some of these articles just because a lot of like the clickbait bullshit some of these articles have um so if it's on ps4 i'm buying it if it's on ps5 i'm buying it twice fuck it 
Uh, then we also have Gran Turismo, which I'm a longtime fan of. Uh, the last Gran Turismo I played was play it was Gran Turismo 5 on the PlayStation 3. And I just love the soundtrack. The soundtrack was amazing and customizing the cars and like learning these classic races and stuff like that. Definitely not like, if you're not the need for speed type, like if you're the need for speed type, this game is not for you. If you're the burnout type, this game is not for you. This is more classic like formula type racing. Like it's a little bit more um uh, nascari i guess i don't i don't it's a little tough to to identify to explain i guess um but uh let's see what else we got we got godfall which has been shown everywhere i'm grabbing that on pc that's not a playstation 5 exclusive horizon 2 forbidden west now uh from all the titles i'm seeing all over the place nobody's putting the number two in the title which is fairly interesting so like the original one is horizon that's the title zero dawn like these are two title subtitle zero dawn horizon you see what i mean so uh this one is forbidden west i thought this was going to be dlc that's legitimately what i thought this was going to be um but apparently it's its own game so that's great i love to see that it's a sequel i'm fairly excited to play it then we have the goat we have my man abe's odyssey bro odd world soul storm like I don't think you guys understand this odd world was one of those first games that i played when i was a kid that creeped me the fuck out but i i went back i played a bunch of them i hard i think i've only beat new and tasty i think that was the only one i actually beat all the way through um still terrifying love it love the series love the games love the quirky little characters that's all time one of my favorites it's definitely in the top 10 then we have resident evil 8 village which i did not know capcom was at a place of putting out resident evil 8 i thought there was going to be one more year before we get a resident evil announcement let alone something that is pre-rendered this far ahead so they must have had they must have been cooking on this like resident evil 2 came out like they must have had somebody else like a whole separate team working on this shit so we'll have to do some background research on that i'll do a separate video if you guys ask um then of course we have my personal favorite demon souls that's gonna be great uh demon souls actually is the only souls game i've ever beaten and uh because i played dark souls one two and three never finished them bloodborne never finished it soul sacrifice i still have not finished um and other than that man i just i've had no no love for the souls games but demon souls is the only one i was able to complete all the way through uh and so i'm very excited to see that coming out and then it's weird i guess we're getting it gta 5 enhanced um that's great i guess uh gta 5 came out in 2013 and we're still talking about it uh so the fuck what i guess um bethesda ported skyrim for the ninth time so i guess we can have gta 5 fuck it who cares um but this is very interesting this is a very interesting detail upon researching this with my buddies uh we found out that gta online is actually going to be a separate entity from grand theft auto 5 so you can actually just play gta online uh by itself without the single player gta 5 um whether that's free to play or not i we haven't confirmed yet uh so we really haven't found that out i'm sure somebody's gonna find the information and, and tell me in the comment section so that'll be dope but that does kind of solidify that hey we either will get gta fairly soon within the next two years so i need to make a whole video about that we will get a new gta within the next two years or uh we're just gonna double down on this is the team that supports gta 5 this is the team that supports on um so it's it's kind of a tall tale it's still a toss-up it's a 50 50 i guess but you know it is what it is um i just want to know how is this going to work for people who have purchased the game on playstation 4 do you have to purchase the game again for playstation 5 and obviously your account comes over because rockstar servers just work that way it did the same thing with playstation 3 to playstation 4 you had the game on ps3 and you were playing in october when the multiplayer dropped and port all of that shit over to the ps4 but you had to buy the game separately i think we're a little bit beyond that i think you can give people a discount if they have playstation if if they've played uh grand theft auto 5 on their playstation 4 and they actually have like trophies and achievements and shit they should get a digital a discount on the digital version of grand theft auto 5 for the PlayStation 5 i that's just the way it should work i mean i honestly don't think they're going to charge 60 dollars for this well the gaming industry so they may charge 60 dollars for for this same game for the third time but whatever uh 
Project Athea, which looks super pretty. I have no idea what's going on in it. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys about, oh, I'm super excited. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. Um, Solar Ash, that looks really pretty. Have no idea what that one is either. And then we come to the GOAT, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Now, I was not expecting this at all, considering all the other stuff Insomniac is working on. I was definitely not expecting a Ratchet and Clank this year. I was expecting it maybe next year, maybe the year after. I was expecting a Sly Cooper game. Like when when Sucker Punch is done with, with uh, Tsushima, I was thinking they were gonna go straight into a Sly Cooper game or an Infamous game. That's what I'm expecting for PlayStation 5 next year. But this, this is interesting. Now we have to have a conversation with Naughty Dog about, hey, do you guys think you should revive Jack and Daxter? I know a lot of people are just like, over there specifically. I remember reading an article and there was a couple of video interviews with some executives at Naughty Dog and they were talking about their hesitance toward making a Jack 4 because it wasn't gonna reach up to the expectations of Jack 3. So, which is a good reason to not make a game. I'm totally down for it. You do not have to, you do not have to feel pressured because that totally worked for The Last of Us to all the people. This is a shot to all the people that said The Last of Us was gonna be bad and we're getting nines and 10 out of 10s, right? So suck it. Um, next we have Little Big Planet, but it's Sackboy, A Big Adventure. I'm very excited for that. I'm a huge Little Big Planet fan. Um, and then of course we got NBA 2K, which we, which means we all but have Madden. Uh, Destruction All-Stars, which looks like some goofy ass twisted metal kind of Fortnite thing. So that looks very interesting. Uh, I personally, me personally, I would just prefer Twisted Metal. Just give me Twisted Metal. Sweet tooth to the bone, baby. Like, just fucking do that. Um, Death Loop, that looks really good. I have no idea what that one's about either, and I don't feel like I'm gonna do the due dil diligence to actually research that until like more comes out. Then we have Stray, you, you basically play as a cat. This is very interesting. I feel like this should be swapped out for fucking Gravity Rush 3, but that's that's just me. And then we have uh, Goodbye Volcano High, Returnal, uh, Bug Snatch, Bug Snacks? I have no idea how to pronounce it. Bro, the game with the fucking furries and the bugs, okay? And the fruits and stuff. That looks kind of cool. I'm not even gonna lie. It's like this generated, this like version, uh, like this version of PlayStation's Knack. So I would have expected to see Knack 3, but I mean, this works too. Then we have Hitman 3, which I'm pretty high for. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't like the episodic thing that they did with the last Hitman game. So I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, I mean, I guess. So if they give me a full game this time, that'd be great. Um, then of course we have Ghostwire Tokyo, which I was not excited for. I, I had a feeling Ghostwire Tokyo was gonna be this Hideo Kojima uh, fucking Tetsuya Nomura shit that was just like so beyond brain that it was just like, oh, you're not really gonna understand it until you play it seven times all the way through. Like, I don't need these hyper philosophical fucking stories. Bro, just give me something fun to play. And this does not look like that at all. Um, Jet, The Far Shore, Kenna, Bridge of the Spirits, uh, Little Devil Inside, which actually that looks very interesting. I will probably fuck with that. Um, Astro's Playroom, we had the playroom on PlayStation 4 with the camera, so that was pretty dope. Uh, one that looks problematic is Pragmata. I have no idea what's going on in this thing. It is one of those Hideo H Kojima trippy ass. Like I, I'm, I don't, I don't need that in my video games. I just want to be able to play the game. Um, then of course we have Control coming to PS5, Destiny coming to PS5, obviously Fortnite, Warframe, uh, that one that was revealed last year, Gothic, um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Ubisoft is really on top of their shit for PlayStation 5. Um, Outriders, which was revealed last year, that looks like trash. Um, so I'm... Mm -hmm. uh, Watch Dogs Legion, Battlefield 6, Gods and Monsters, Rainbow Six Quarantine. So pretty much all the stuff that we expected, Dying Light 2. Um, and as I scroll down this list, it's kind of just like, okay, well, we knew Cyberpunk, Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us 2, Starfield, Elder Scrolls 6, whenever they do that, uh, eventually GTA 6, uh, the next part of Final Fantasy, the next God of War. Like these are all games that we expected to be on there. So I don't really see... No, I don't really need to give them any attention. So, I mean, it is what it is. I would have liked to see Elden Ring. Now, if somebody would have just please brought your boy some gameplay, that'd be dope. I feel like when they do finally show that game, uh, it's not gonna be gameplay. We're gonna get a cinematic trailer. And 
Y'all know I'm not down with cinematic trailers. But anyway, that's the list that I'm reading off here. Um, if you guys are excited about anything, if I missed anything, please let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to give today's video a like because that, that, that honestly just really helps with the algorithm and it helps, it helps my feelings. Let's be real. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, if you guys are already subscribed and you want to support the channel, memberships are available down below in the, in the description section. Now, honestly, that's the best way to, su to support the channel. If you guys could just, we have like a little $2 membership that you can pay a month it goes to your boy it helps make bigger and better videos honestly you guys paid for these lights you guys paid for this mic cameras and none of this stuff though y'all didn't pay for none of this i paid for that <laughs> so but uh anyway that's gonna be it for today uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time make sure to keep